we can get a case that a lady will lose a central incisor with the resorption and, and a fracture, and we can see that a high smile line, and we can place an implant and have a nicely done static restoration and stable over the time. So that's nice. So how do you say that's beautiful or not beautiful or bad? Of course, now we have parameters to measure pink aesthetic score and white aesthetic score. And we can try to use that as measuring our aesthetic success. So here, another implant supported restoration for a lateral incisor, where we see the nice pink, the nice restoration wearing pink, as we just learned. But the tooth, maybe we can discuss a shade, or we can discuss that the white part is, could be maybe a little bit here and there. Another case, that's a 15-year follow-up of a lateral incisor with the Brennemark kind of style uh, implant that had a soft tissue recession. So here, this is not so good, still acceptable, but it's not a perfect end result. So now we get the same thing, and we saw the paper by Stephen Chen and Danny Boozer, the, um, the IGOMI, the supplement for the uh, fifth consensus conference, that they organized and classified as the pink aesthetic score 9 to 11 and the white aesthetic score 6 to 9 as acceptable, right? Uh, but if it's less than 8 and, and the white aesthetic score less than 6, that's a poor result. 